Hello, and welcome to our Band in a Box video overview of the Audio Harmony dialog. Note, this feature is not available in the 64-bit version of Band in a Box. Using the Audio Harmony dialog, you can apply a harmony to the audio part, allowing you to automatically create up to four-part vocal harmonies for your singing. And don't worry, if your singing is not in perfect tune, Band in a Box can now fix vocals to correct the pitch automatically. Simply record your vocal part, choose a harmony, and Band in a Box will generate the vocal harmony part for you. Band in a Box generates the harmonies using the world-leading TC Helicon Vocal Technologies engine. Once you have recorded a vocal part into Band in a Box, you can use this feature in many ways. So let's quickly go over the controls of the Auto Harmony dialog, and then we can see a few examples of it in action. To access the Audio Harmony dialog, Click the Harmony button and select Audio Harmonies and Pitch Tracking. Now on the right, we have three types of harmonies we can choose from. The first is Melody Pitch Tracking Only. This corrects the pitch of a vocal part by using the pitches in the MIDI melody. So for this, you will need to have a MIDI melody part entered in notation. The second option is Harmonize to the MIDI melody. This harmonizes an audio track using the MIDI melody entered in notation and will harmonize using one of the harmony types of your choice from the drop-down menu. You can also use this M button to the right of the drop-down to select your harmony type with some extra options available. The third option is harmonize to the chords of the song, ignoring the MIDI melody. Using this option, you will harmonize solely on the chords of the song and not the MIDI melody. This is the option you would want to use if you don't have a MIDI part entered in notation. To the right here, we can choose the range of the harmony, you can choose whole song, or set a range of a part of the song. Down here, we have options to output harmonies in stereo, output a separate WAV file for each of the harmony tracks. So if you had a four voice harmony, four tracks would be exported. We can also transpose the MIDI melody and auto set the octave. So now, let's take a look at the Audio Harmony dialog in action. To use the Audio Harmony routine, you must start with a Band in a Box song that has an audio part. You can easily create one yourself by entering a Band in a Box song and pressing the Record Audio button and singing a vocal part into a microphone connected to the mic or line-in on your computer. But if you don't have a song with audio handy, you can just load in the song that we include called listen.mgu in the tutorial audio harmonies folder inside your BB folder. This song has a vocal demo as well as a MIDI melody. So we will use this song to demonstrate three different uses of the audio harmony dialog within Band in a Box. To start, just load in the listen.mgu song file. You'll see at the top of the screen that the title bar displays the size of the WAV file associated with listen.mgu. That tells you that the vocal audio track is present. First, before we do any editing, we suggest you press save as and save the song with a different name, such as listen2.mgu. Now you can experiment with the listen2.mgu song without affecting the original listen song. Let's have a quick listen to the song. Listen to the voice that fills your mind Listen, just listen and you'll find Answers you didn't have before And as you listen more and more The world doesn't seem to be the bad dream you thought it would be Okay, now that you have a separate copy of the Listen demo, let's do some pitch tracking of the melody. This demo was sung in tune to begin with, so let's demonstrate this in a different way. Using standard notation editing, change the D melody note at the end of bar 2 to an E. When we choose to pitch track, the vocal track is going to be matched to the pitches on this MIDI melody, so the audio will change to an E note for this. So now, Choose Harmony, Audio Harmonies and Pitch Tracking, select Melody Pitch Tracking Only, and click on OK. You'll then see the TC Helicon Harmony dialog. This allows further settings for the pitch tracking. 
press the preview button to hear what it's going to sound like. Listen to the voice that fills your mind. Listen. So we can just press generate and the entire harmony will be generated. The process ends with a confirmation dialogue from Band in a Box. You can then hear your song with the pitches fixed to the MIDI melody notes. Listen to the voice that fills your mind. Listen, just listen, and you'll find. And if you wanted your original track back, you just need to select Edit, Undo Audio Harmonies. So now let's create some harmonies from the Listen demo file. As we did before, let's start with a fresh copy of the Listen2.mgu song. Now, select Harmony, Audio Harmonies and Pitch Tracking, and select Harmonize to the MIDI Melody. And then choose Harmony 131 for Freshman, and press OK. This is going to give you a four-part harmony to the MIDI melody. You can press the preview button to preview the generated harmony. Listen to the voice that fills your mind. Listen. We can also experiment with some of the other controls within the TC Helicon window. On the far left, we have a dry voice level, we can pan and adjust the levels of each voice. We can also adjust the gender, which determines if the voice sounds more like a male or a female vocal. Below, we have a vibrato drop-down menu for each voice. And on the right, we have the humanizing controls to adjust the timing, pitch, and portamento to help make it sound a little more human. Press preview to preview any of your edits. And once you are happy with all the settings in this window, just press the generate button. Listen to the voice that fills your mind. Listen, just listen, and you'll find. The third way we can use the audio harmony dialog is using the chordal harmonies. The term chordal harmonies here refers to creating vocal harmonies when there is no MIDI melody present. In this case, the harmonies will be based on the chords as typed into Band in a Box. Same as before, load in the Listen song and save as Listen 2. At the top of the screen, choose Melody, Edit Melody Track, Form, Kill Entire Melody. This step is not actually necessary, but we are doing it here to demonstrate that the MIDI melody is not required for chordal harmonies. Okay, now choose Harmony, audio harmonies and pitch tracking, and then choose Harmonize to the chord of the song. You can then choose what kind of harmony you want. For example, three above would be the melody and three voices in harmony higher than the original vocal. So now just press OK, and you can preview your harmony. Listen to the voice that fills your mind. Listen. Same as before, the TC Helicon Harmony dialog allows you to control the volumes, padding, and other characteristics of the generated harmony, as well as experiment with different pitch styles and add vibrato and scooping effects to the harmonies for very realistic vocal styles. Thanks for watching the Band in a Box video overview of the audio harmony dialog. Have fun! Listen. To the voice that fills your mind Listen, just listen And you'll find Answers you didn't have before And as you listen more and more The world doesn't seem to be the bad dream You thought it would be